Hi everyone, my name is Erin and this YouTube video is going to be all about how to make some super tasty dog treats. These dog treats have not only been a hit amongst the dogs in my neighborhood, including my own, but they're also super easy to make. Now, the recipe that I'm using is from the website allrecipes.com, so if you would like to follow the step-by-step -step recipe I used in this video, all you have to do is search up peanut butter and pumpkin dog treats like I am doing right now, and the recipe should be the first search result that pops up. On that note, let's get started. As I said earlier in the video, this recipe is super easy to make and only requires six ingredients, which makes give or take around 25 servings. However, the number of servings can be easily adjusted by going into the recipe under ingredients and clicking the plus and minus buttons. Once your desired number of servings appears, click adjust and the quantities of the ingredients will change to fit your serving number. For this video, I will be making the dog treats with the intention of making 25 of them. With that, you will need the following ingredients. Two and a half cups of whole wheat flour, two eggs, half a cup of canned pumpkin, two tablespoons of peanut butter, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Some other recommended kitchen supplies are a stand mixer, rolling pin, or something that you can use to roll out the dough, and cookie cutters to make your dog treats into cool shapes. Once you have everything you need, you're ready to start making the dog treats. Actually, stop right there. Before you even touch anything, be sure that you thoroughly wash your hands and tie back any loose hair. This is super important as we do not want to put anyone at risk of COVID-19. Once you have completed those two things, you're ready to start making dog treats. Start off by turning your oven on and preheating it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Next, add all of your ingredients into your stand mixer. Once all of the ingredients have been added, turn on your mixer and mix all of the ingredients together which should create a dry and stiff dough. You may need to add a little bit of water, which is what happened when I made them as the dough was quite stiff. take the dough out of the mixer and roll it out on a flat surface. You may need to use some more water to help make the dough a more workable consistency. As you can see in the video, it took me quite a while to roll out my dough because it was quite stiff, but after some time it finally got to half an inch thick which is the desired thickness of your dough. After that is your time to be creative. Whether you just use a knife or you find some cool cookie cutters, this is your time to make your dog treats unique. Once you have cut out the treats, you can put them on a cookie sheet layered with parchment paper and when the oven reaches the desired temperature, carefully put the cookies in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes or until they become hard. Once the dog treats are hard, pull them out of the oven and let them cool down. As you can see, I made a lot more dog treats than expected, as my intent was to go for 25 servings, but ended up making 68. And that's it. Yep, it's that simple. Making dog treats doesn't have to be complicated, and they're a great reward for dogs. My dog has even given them the okay. There are a few places where you can go to donate your homemade dog treats to, such as your local homeless shelter or humane society. However, during these times and with these circumstances, it can be difficult to find places that are willing to accept anything. So, giving them to your neighbors, family, friends, or anyone who has a dog is a great way to spread kindness around during these times. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on anything. I hope you have a great rest of your day and hope to see you next time.